One, two. Very nice. Oh my goodness, you're you're a liar. Look at that. Okay. That's so good. The real question is, guys, do you need a three thousand dollar camera to get the shots that you want? Do you need a five thousand dollar camera? Do you need a eight thousand dollar camera? You know, for some people, the answer is yes, but for everyone, it's not. And I guess what I want to show today is that with a camera like this that was uh, released in 2011, 18 megapixels, um, crop sensor, it's APS-C, uh, so not the full frame, um, you can get some pretty good shots. As a matter of fact, there was a um, protest that I uh, went to months ago. I think it was September. Yeah, like early September. And I used this camera, not this lens. This lens, we just recently got it. But I used this camera... Um, and man, I got some of my most iconic shots and it's not because they were tack sharp. Matter of fact, some of them were grainy as heck. I'll put them up uh, so you guys can see them. But, you know, it's, it, and that's the thing, that's the question. Does it have to be a tack sharp picture in order for, you know, the camera to be judged as a good camera? I don't think that's the case. So we're gonna cross over here. We're gonna get some shots. If you guys like the content, on the channel so far be sure to hit that subscribe button now this guy we can't use this screen to kind of gauge our pictures or to uh, view our picture we could view the pictures on here but when we're taking it we put that camera to the face so let's see here uh, we got to adjust our settings Right now, settings are at 1 1 60th of a second, f2.8. I have it on auto ISO. Love that uh, DSLR hit every time you take a picture. Very, very satisfying. So we got the battery pack on this guy. So you guys had to tape this shut because this this camera has seen it has seen some uh, some battles. It's been through some use, but it's always working. You know what I'm saying? Like it's super reliable. If you guys haven't, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Milmid Studios. I'll be sure to post some of these pictures up. How you guys doing? It's a little washed out. Let's see if you can adjust that shutter speed to 250. better it's pretty cool I like that oh that's pretty neat Overall, it's a fun camera. I've had a lot of fun with this um, just because I guess of its simplicity. And I think if you like simplicity, like the point of this video is not to say, oh, everyone go buy a T3i. It's just to show that, you know, what are you getting? Like if you buy, like, do you have to buy the R5? Do you have to buy the R6? Did I have to buy the um, S1R? Or in a lower price point, can you get something that's suitable that gets the job done um, I would almost say, guys, it's almost better to invest in good glass first or primarily. Nothing wrong with getting a good body, but I think it's so important. Like, for example, 
if you want to get into RF glass, is it wisest for you to buy the R5 or R6 and then invest in the glass? Or should you transition with the R, build up your R glass and then sell your R and maybe uh, get a R5 later? I mean, it's those sort of things that you kind of consider, but I would have to say, after using some of the older glass that we had on the EOS uh, T3i, and then buying this like premium glass, yeah, it's older. Uh, I think this came out in 20 or 2007 or so, but the picture is so good and it really like wakes this camera up. So I'm convinced that if you're considering um, like glass or body, which you want to invest in heavily more, um, I would almost say do the glass, get premium glass. That's my personal opinion. How you doing, man? Good. Okay. Oh. <laughs> cool. Love those Raptors. Let's try and increase the f-stop. Let's go to nine. ISO went to 1600. I would rather bring down the shutter speed to 160. So I also was at 400 now. Awesome. You know, after getting this glass on this T3i, it really made me consider, did I need to go with the S1R, would the S5 been good enough? You know, um, would the G, should I have just stayed with the G9? I didn't want a full frame. That's the that's the only thing. But there are good full frame options like the EOS uh, RP. That's I mean, if you have the good glass on there, you're gonna get good shots regardless. And what I've been thinking is, I think from protests and demonstrations, there's one coming up on Saturday I might go to, I think I'll be shooting on AV instead of manual, just so that the shots are there when things start to kick it off, you know? So that's one adjustment I think I'll make. But I think some of the pictures I've gotten have turned out pretty good. There is one exception. I think my screen, my computer screen, it's old. And when I grade photos, I think I grade them a bit darker than they should be. So I'm looking to invest in a new screen. If you guys have any suggestions for a good screen to edit photography or videos, please uh, leave that comment down there for me because I am looking to make a purchase pretty soon. I just have to do a bit more research. Maybe we can try get a portrait of somebody. Hi there. Hi. I'm just doing some uh, headshots. Would you like one? I can email it to you. Free of charge, nothing like that. I'm not charging you. I just do a bit of street photography. Okay, if you like it, let me know and I'll, I'll email it to you, okay? Great. Just give me a sec. One, two. That's beautiful. How's that? Do you like it? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, I'll do like one more then. One, two. Very nice. I think it looks great. Sure. Would you like it? Do you want an email? I'm good. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Yeah. Take care then. Thanks a lot. I think they look great. <laughs> but that kind of gives you, that'll kind of give you an idea of the blur, like for the portrait. That's too sweet. Oh, man. Merry Christmas. You as well. Oh, there's another uh, cool reflection of the Calgary Tower there. That's pretty neat. I like that. Hello. Would you like a picture? Do you want a picture? picture? Yeah, I could send it to you. I can email it to you. Up here? Uh, yeah? Okay. Do you mind just standing right over here? Great. This one? What's that? This one? That's perfect. Yes. Good.
Very nice. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to take your mask off? <laughs> One very nice smile. Very nice. <laughs> that looks good. Oh. Do you like it? Yeah, oh. I like. Do you want me to email it to you? Yeah. You, okay, you got it. Give me one sec. Take care. Yeah. I think those I think those came out quite oh she has a nice smile in that one. Very nice. I'll send those to her. Go this way. Hello. Do you want a shot? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, don't worry. It's an impressive camera. Oh, that. thank you. Appreciate it. Take care. Cool. I mean, from what I could see inside of the screen here, I think the pictures came out really good. Super impressed with... Uh, this T3i wouldn't pair with the 7200. 7200 is such a great focal length. Like on portraits, like as you guys saw, the compression is just so nice. And I just like the variety, uh, the ability to go from 70 to 200. And you could do, you could do portraits at 200 millimeters if you really want. So from what I've seen so far, I'm super, super happy with it. Hi there, do you want a picture? believe that for a second what is it for? i just do some street photography i'll okay. take your picture i can edit it and i can send it back to you if you like it yeah do you mind taking the mask down okay very nice you're perfect just like that it's a long lens so i might have to stand back a little bit no you're good you're good one two oh my goodness <laughs> That looks good. <laughs> okay. Come on, it, it don't look good? I just, I definitely look myself. You want me to, let me take one more and I'll send them both to you. Is that okay? Sure. Okay. One, two, one, two. Very nice. Oh my goodness, you're, you're a liar. Look at that. Okay. That's so good, come on. There's that one, that one. I like that one too. And then this one. I'll send them, I'll send all three to you, okay? Do you have an email address? Are you okay giving it to me? Okay. <laughs> yeah, like on my days off from work, I come downtown and I just shoot. I like it. I love like candid pictures, uh, street photography, buildings, landscape, that kind of thing. Yep. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care, okay? Those shots were incredible. So I, I ask you the question, guys. Do you need a $3,000 camera? You can get this camera for like $300, if not less. The lens we got for a thousand dollars Canadian. That's thirteen hundred dollars, and you're getting good shots. You're looking at about thirteen hundred dollars, not including the battery pack here, which is just really a creature comfort. And you're getting beautiful photographs. Thousand dollar used lens, premium used lens, and a three hundred dollar old beat up camera, and you're getting pictures like that. And obviously, this is me just looking at them through the viewfinder. If I go home and the, the pictures are crusty, then uh, you may not see this video, but <laughs> no, no. But just from what I'm seeing, like the bokeh, the compression, it's so, it's so, so nice. I'm so happy that I came out with this. I've had a bunch of fun here. Be sure to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Instagram. I'll tell you why you should follow me on Instagram. Because I upload these pictures and I have my settings for each picture that I upload so you know exactly what the settings were in my camera so you can get a similar look um, in similar circumstances. So be sure to hit that follow button on Instagram. Thank you guys for the support. We'll see you in the next one. Keep on shooting.